Are you tired of having the same old cereal every day? Well, do I have the right thing for you? We got the mathematical cereal, 100% pure math. Hi guys, uh, this is question 23 um, on this marker balance practice exam. And uh, let's try it, okay, let's, let's read. So it says, Emma is standing 10 feet away from the base of a tree and tries to measure the angle of elevation to the top. She's unable to get an accurate measurement, but determines that the angle of elevation is between 55 degrees and 75 degrees. Decide whether each value given in the table is a reasonable estimate for the tree height. Select the reasonable or not reasonable for each height. Okay, so these are the answers given and we just have to select which one is a reasonable answer and which one is not. All right. So as I'm reading this question, I'm thinking about trig functions and uh, we have to use one of the trig functions. So, but what I like to do is with these type of question is, you know, it's always a good idea to draw uh, the question out. So I'm going to draw the question out and here is the question. So uh, Emma is standing 10 feet away from the tree. So I'm, I'll draw a tree. Okay, here is a tree and uh, let's say Emma is standing 10 feet away from the tree so maybe right here okay and she takes angle of elevation to the top of the tree so she'll take angle of elevation to the top of the tree remember angle of elevation starts horizontally and you're just looking up right okay now she's not sure what this measurement is but she's thinking this is either uh, 50, it's between 55 and 75 degrees. It's between 55 and 75 degrees. And uh, if it, it is 55 and 75 degrees, then what is a reasonable answer for the height of the tree? Okay, so we're looking for this opposite side, height of the tree. So uh, it's opposite of that angle. So what I'm thinking of is using um, trig function. And in this case, I'm, uh, I'm gonna use tangent because um, the unknown side is the opposite, known side is the adjacent uh, side to that angle. So I'm thinking about, you know, trying to do this question using a tangent. So I'm gonna set it up using a tangent. So I'm gonna go tangent theta equal uh, opposite, which is h, h divided by adjacent 10, right? Now, Emma doesn't know what that angle is, but she thinks it's between 55 and 75. So I'm gonna try both out. So I'm gonna try the lowest end of her guess, which is 55, and I'll try 75, and let's see what comes out. So I'm gonna go tangent of 55 degrees equal H or 10. Okay, now if I, all I have to do to find the height of this tree, if it was 55 degrees, is multiply both sides by 10, and if you plug this in your calculator 10 times tangent 55 uh, you will get for approximately 14.28 feet as an answer so this is a lower end uh, of our answer so this tree is at least 14.28 feet high okay and then, now let's see what's the other end of the answer so uh, same exact thing same um, function uh, but this time I'm gonna use uh, 75 degree, the higher limit on the angle. So tangent 75, what if it, it was 75 degree? What would be the height of the tree? So tangent 75 equal H or 10. I'm gonna multiply both sides by 10. Okay. And uh, if you, again, if you plug this in your calculator, 10 times tangent 75, you will you get approximately 37.32 feet so here is a lower end of our answer and here is the upper end of our answer and now if we compare that to the answers which are given to us now we can correctly make out which is a reasonable answer which is a, not a reasonable answer so this tree the height of this tree could be between 14.28 to 37.32 feet right so this first one is not reasonable okay uh, this is reasonable this is reasonable uh, this is reasonable 
Okay, the highest was 37.32. This is not reasonable. This is over, right? So this is not reasonable. This is not reasonable. All right. So you can see, like, whenever you see a trick question or a word problem, I think it's a good idea to draw uh, a basic picture of it and maybe uh, set up the equation and you can solve it. I think most of us can definitely agree math rocks. I can prove so. Right here, as we can see from this image, they're totally high-fiving because math rocks. And it actually appears like they're stating a couple of the math commandments. I think that says, Thou shalt not write thy math papers in ink. Thou shalt show all thy work. I mean, as we can see right here, they're totally saying that. But in conclusion, math rocks. I love math.